I wanted to share with you today all the wonderful things that we got our sons for Christmas this year. We have a almost three-year-old. He will be three on December 19th, so some of this stuff we're going to pull out to be his birthday presents as well. And we have a baby that's going to be only six months old on Christmas. So he's a little bit young for gifts, but we still wanted to get him something to open, and we wanted him to have toys that were just his own instead of his brother's hand-me-downs. So you can use this as a gift guide if you are wondering what to get the toddlers that are in your life, or um, just enjoy watching all this lavish stuff I got for my kids. Um, I know that this looks like a lot of stuff, especially for my older son, but every year you know, we set a limit for Christmas and then every year we blow that budget because me and my husband will shop together and pretty much use all the money in the budget and then we'll shop separately also and then by the time we bring it all together he's just got a ton of stuff. So they are very very blessed little boys. So let's get into all this stuff and I will show you my younger son first because he has way less stuff and then we'll get into the big boy. And hopefully you can find some really good ideas for the kids in your life too. So first off I got this caterpillar rattle and it's just these little beads. It's kind of like um, a rainmaker sound to it. And I got this at Ross for only $3.99 and it was supposed to be $7. So I got a good deal on that. And I got him two practical gifts because I'm going to be buying these anyway, so might as well wrap them up for him. And I got some uh, Tommy Tippy Spill Proof Sippy Cups because he'll be in those very soon. And I paid $6.99 for those. So those were a little bit cheaper than they are at the store. And then I got him two of the uh, Tommy Tippy Passies just because they were only $2.79 there. And that is really cheap, and they're usually like six bucks at other stores. So I got him some extra passies because we have a puppy, and she keeps eating his passies. I'm probably going to throw her away one day for it, but I'm just kidding. But anyways, so he's got some passies. And then we got him this VTech flashlight. Let's see. Do you come on? Ooh. And it makes like different little sounds. And you can also turn it and make the light different colors. Yeah. And every baby likes stuff that lights up and makes a whole bunch of noise. So we figured he would like that. And if you hear noise, my husband's trying to play with my son and keep him occupied. And I've locked myself in our bedroom, so hopefully he won't catch me doing all this. Okay, so this next thing, what is a VTech, what are you, Bright Lights Soccer Ball. I'm black and white. <laughs> I'm the best soccer player. And we just thought yeah. this would be a nice soft ball for him to play with and if his brother kicks him uh, you know kicks it and it hits him in the face then it won't hurt that bad and my older son will probably steal this away from his brother but they'll still really like playing with it and it's just a cute little thing I have no idea how much I paid for this because my husband was the one that got this I didn't know he, he has the crinkle hands This next thing I got was also from Ross. It is the VTEX Splash, the singing turtle game. So this can go in the bathtub and you uh, use the little turtle shell right here to pour water over it and this spins. Let's see. It spins and everything, it makes noises. Okay, 
and also this has a temperature sensor on there so it'll tell you if the water's too hot or if it's too cold or just right and that's right here so shh. that's great all right I make you go off <laughs> Wait. so I thought it was cool that it had a temperature button on it and it was a toy that floats and he can uh, be interactive with and he can't sit up in the tub yet but in just a couple of months he'll be ready to play with this and in the meantime his older brother will enjoy showing him how it works so we got that for $11.99 at Ross as well and the last thing I got him from Ross is this Zoom and Crawl Monster. And it like um, runs around the room and you try to catch up to it and put the balls into um, the top right here. And then that spins and it spits the balls back out and you're trying to keep them all in there. So I thought this was a fun game that my older son and my younger son could both play with. And this, I looked at it in other places and it was like 30 bucks. This one says it's comparable to $25. And I ended up paying $16.99 for this. So I think I got a great deal from Ross on this toy. Don't discredit Ross when you're looking for toys, especially for uh, like the younger kids. They had a ton and they are all discounted prices for the exact same toy that you're going to get in every other store. So definitely check out Ross and see if they have what you're looking for first and then go to the other stores. And I ended up spending like maybe 70 bucks on all the stuff I got from Ross that day and I got presents for other people too. So there's that. Okay. So this next thing that we got, I actually saw on a, um, oh, what would it be called? Like a cognitive development page or something like that um, to help your babies learn. And because this has like the high contrasting colors and it teaches them how to uh, like rest things inside of um, each other and stack the spools and stuff. It's just supposed to be a really good tool to teach your kids some different um, motor skills and stuff like that. And you can stack them all different ways. And I just um, thought this was a really cool toy and I love toys that have dual purposes and can do a little bit of teaching as well. So I thought that that would be a perfect gift for him to start growing with and learn his colors with and everything. That would be really fun. Okay. This next toy is the Game and Learn Controller. Now this toy right here, I put it into my cart to hold on to it until I made my order. One day later, it was gone. They had completely sold out of the um, Amazon Prime one. So I looked at if any third party sellers were selling this and I found one, but they were selling it for $30 for a toy for a baby. So I was like, uh, yeah, no, he's not getting this toy. So I kept the Amazon Prime one in my cart though and maybe three days ago or so I saw that it was back in stock and I ended up only paying $8 for this thing. So if you see this thing for more than 8 or $9, don't pay it because it's just not worth it I don't think. But I thought that this one would be cool because you know they like playing with daddy's controllers for his games and it's just would be a fun little toy for him to play with. See? Let's play. See? Let's play. And it has a little. Why do all baby toys make so much noise? But I think it would just be really fun for him to have different little things to do on it. And if he gets a hold of Daddy's controller, we can just give him his own little controller, and hopefully that'll keep him happy. Alright, this next product is from Boone, and Boone has a whole bunch of really cool bath toys. 
and we actually ordered this one once before on Amazon and it never came to us and we checked our uh, credit card and they've actually put the money back onto our credit card. So I don't know what the issue was that we didn't receive this when we got it, you know, a year ago for our other son. But when we were looking this Christmas, it was suggested again. So we were like, you know what? We'll give it another chance and see if it comes in the mail. So we got the Boone Pipes and they just pour water into them and they suction cup onto the wall and it's just something different to do in the bathtub and the bath toys that we have for our older son they're getting kind of grimy and everything so we're gonna throw all those away and just start fresh with some new bath toys okay this is his next toy it is pretty big, so hopefully you can see the whole thing. So this is going to be his big toy that we have sitting out on Christmas morning, even though he won't know the difference. My older son will. But this is going to be the toy that's from Santa. So it is the Fisher Price 3-way, 3-in-1 um, smart car. And it can um, teach them how to walk and it can also be a ride on car and it like bounces and makes noise and stuff like that. So we thought that this would be a fun little thing for him to do like while his brother's on his bike and stuff. And it also will teach him how to walk hopefully. So we will see if he likes this. Hopefully he does because this bad boy was 50 bucks. Even on Black Friday, I never saw it go lower. So if it went lower and I missed that deal, I'm really upset. Because $50 is just more than I want to pay for anything. But I really hope he likes this humongous thing. So the very last thing that I got for my baby was this organically made uh, teether thing. I actually got this off of Wish. It was only a dollar and you didn't know what shape animal you were getting and it came in, I'm going to say, a dinosaur. So I'm happy about that because my older son really likes dinosaurs and hopefully my younger one will too. But... Um, I thought that this was just a cute little thing to throw into the diaper bag and I'm probably going to put this in his stocking because it's so little and I just like the way it's made and the way it looks and everything and I like that I only had to pay a dollar for it. So that is the very last thing for Baby Wyatt. Alright, so now we're going to get into my three-year-old's presents and he has a lot more but like I said half of this we're gonna pull out for his birthday so I don't know where to start let's just let's just start with Marshall so this was another thing I got at Ross and it was only $9.99 which I was very happy to find I found Chase first and then as I started looking some more I saw Marshall and Marshall is definitely his favorite so I put Chase back and got the Marshall and he has like a little zipper on his tummy that opens up and you can hide your treasures in there and it's a little backpack with little straps so you can wear Marshall, have your little stuffed animal with you and have a treasure hidden inside. So I thought that he would really like that and he doesn't have any Paw Patrol stuffed animals so I thought this would be a multifunction one that wasn't that much money. So I figured I would pick this one up while I still had it because it was the only one I had. Also, I got this at Ross for only $4.99. And he has a couple of Nerf guns already, but he is not able to pull the trigger on them. And we have to do it for him. So this one's trigger pulls really easily, it feels like. So I'm hoping that he, and it says automatic rotating barrel. So I'm really hoping that this one is easy for him to do and he doesn't need us to do it with. And I know what you're thinking, a three-year-old does not need a gun, but 
his daddy's already buying him Nerf guns, so I thought might as well try to get him one that he can actually shoot his daddy back with instead of just his daddy doing all of the playing. And so hopefully this one works out. It is not Nerf. It is Busby Toys uh, Air Warrior. So I've never even heard of this, but for five bucks, I thought we would give it a try, and I bet that the bullets for the Nerf guns will fit in this too. At least that's what I'm hoping. Okay, I also got him these shoes from Ross. He is about to size up in his shoes. And these were only 15 bucks, so I didn't think they were that bad. And they are Mickey. And he doesn't absolutely love Mickey, but he'll tolerate him and watch him every once in a while. And I just thought that they were cute little shoes for him to wear to school and stuff like that. So uh, this will be his uh, pair of shoes for Christmas. And then we also went to Vans and they were having a really big clearance sale. Does it say? So they were having a really good clearance sale at Vans. So we ended up paying $24 for these $45 pair of shoes. And they look like Hulk feet. I think he's going to love these shoes. He might not care for the Mickey that much, but these he's going to love being Hulk. Hulk is his absolutely favorite superhero right now. So we have a lot of Hulk stuff in here, which we'll get into. But I thought these were so cool and like Hulk's feet are like busting out of the shoe. I thought they were just really, really cool. And they're really easy to get on and off because they're just stretchy with no laces. So I'm really going to enjoy putting cute outfits together for him to wear his Hulk shoes. Right. And the last like clothing type item that we got him was I picked these up on Black Friday. My younger son were supposed to get some as well, but they did not end up being put into my bag, which I guess is fine. But these were on a, I want to say like a $4 doorbuster or something like that for Carter's. So I picked him up just a pair of like winter themed PJs and they just have like a polar bear I guess with hats on. And I don't like getting uh, too many like Christmas PJs because then they don't get to wear them that much. But I thought since these were winter themed that these would work and hopefully he would get a couple of wears out of these before they shrink. Because for some reason the ones in these special packs like this, they shrink really bad from Carter's. So I got a 4T because I didn't have a 5T. So I'm hoping that these don't shrink too bad. And on Black Friday at Walmart, the $5 movie bins were on sale for $1.96, I want to say. And so I only got him one movie because he doesn't watch a whole bunch of DVDs. But uh, I got him Rio 2 because he really likes both of these movies. But Rio 2 is his favorite out of the two that they have. So we will add this to his DVD collection. And I forgot, I forget where I got this. I want to say Target. But this is a 6-in-1 fun pack. 6 card games for ages 3 and up. And we got him a couple of other games which I'll show y'all next. But I want him to start getting into playing games with us. Because when me and my husband play games, he's really interested and he wants to be a part of it. So I thought that this would be a perfect time to start getting board games that he could play with us. And these, uh, I think, are a good starting place for that. So this has Goldfish, Slapjack, Matching, Old Maid, which I've never played. Crazy Eights and a memory matching game. So this one's going to be right up his alley and a perfect um, game for a three-year-old to start with. So in the, the next game we got him, this was also another like cognitive developing um, game that I saw on that same website as the Spools for my younger son. And this is the Frida's Fruit Fiesta game and it teaches them their alphabet and you like 
lay out the um, pieces in the little box and then you use the chew can it's like a little what would you call that chomper uh, what do they call it they call it a freezer uh, free to squeezer I don't know but it comes with these like little tong things that are the shape of a chew can and you um, spin the little spool thing and find what letter it's supposed to be and then you pick up that letter or something like that. It's pretty much what I got from the video that I watched of it. But we are uh, learning our numbers and we've already learned our numbers pretty well. Um, and so I figured that we need to start on letters. And I know he's only three but he is in a Mother's Day Out program. And they're teaching him his letters, so I figure that we might as well help them out with him learning his letters. So hopefully he likes this game. Alright, this next game that I got him is the Gone Fishing game. And you just have your little pole, and you uh, stick it into the fish's mouth, and they're chomping, and you try to catch the little fish. I thought this one would be a really fun one for him and his daddy to play because daddy takes some fishing and he really enjoys it. So I thought this would be a fun game for them to enjoy. And I got this from Ross, or not from Ross, from Goodwill for $2.99. I have no idea how much it is full price, but for $2.99 it was coming home with me. And it's in great condition. The packaging isn't ripped or anything. So I was very pleased to find this game there. So one more thing that I got from Goodwill was this Dino train set, uh, track or Dino Express. And it is just a little train track and it has dinosaurs on it. And the lead dinosaur, uh, you put batteries in him and he pulls the other two dinosaurs. And I paid $6.99 for this. And he absolutely loves trains and he absolutely loves dinosaurs. So I thought this would be a perfect thing to get him. And hopefully he doesn't break it right away. But uh, we will see how this one goes over. But I think he's going to love this one because he just flips out for trains. This next item I saw in a catalog and they wanted $40 for it. And I thought it was super cool. I had seen the commercials for it and everything, but there was no way I was paying $40 for this. And it is the air swimming fish. It swims through the air, moves like a real fish. You can steer in any direction, and it's easy indoor fun. So I knew he would love this one. And it looks like a shark, which is on another one of his favorite animals. And so I knew we'd have so much fun with this, but like I said, I was not paying $40 for it. So I got on the Wish app and was looking around, and I found this for $13, I think it was. And it was like $5 shipping, so I ended up paying like $18 for it, which is about half price. So I figured that for $18, we could get this for him, and hopefully it doesn't pop really soon. I'll have to let y'all know how it works. But I know that him and his daddy are going to love playing with this thing. So hopefully I didn't waste my money on it, but we will see. And while I was on Wish, I saw this little thing. And this is um, that like chomping game where you uh, he opens up his mouth and you touch his teeth and whatever tooth is sensitive or something like that. If you touch that one, he chomps down on your fingers. Well, the picture of this one had a man, a grown man's hand inside of it. So I thought it was going to be, you know, the full size version of it. And it was only a dollar. And I was like, oh my God, that's a great deal for that game. I mean, the game's only like 10 bucks either way. But I was like, for a dollar? Yeah, we'll get that game too. And he'll love the little choppy thing. And then this comes. I mean, it's still cute. I can throw it in a stocking or something, but I was disappointed. But that's what you get with Wish, I guess. So, and I also ordered a doctor set and one of those 
fruit sets that the fruit are stuck together with Velcro and you like cut it with your little fake knife. Those two items never came. It says that they have been out for delivery since December 3rd and that was five days ago as of right now and they have not been delivered. So I don't know if we're going to get those items or not. I'm kind of guessing that we're not going to get them but if he doesn't get them, he's got plenty of stuff. He'll be fine. But yeah, be careful what you wish for with the Wish app. Whatever. Alright. So I was looking in the Target dollar spot one day and I saw these. They are wall stickies. So you throw them at the wall and their like hands and their feet are sticky and they just like kind of walk down the wall. And it is Hulk and Thor. So I thought that those would be fun for him to play with, maybe go in a stocking as well. Just a little bitty extra thing. So these next three are from the movie Cars. He loves these little figurines. We have almost every single one of them that we have seen in the, uh, the store so far. So these are three that he does not have and I have never seen Frank the, I think he's like, I don't know. He drives in a field with the um, tractors that are sleeping or whatever. But I have never ever seen Frank in the stores. And I was actually at Kroger and I saw that they were restocking their cars department. And so I ran over there to see what new ones they were putting out and I saw Frank. So I snatched him up and he was only like six bucks, which I was surprised because he's kind of bigger. So I know he's going to really like him. And then we got Sally and Red, the fire truck. Because the fire truck, for some reason, is really hard to find in this size as well. So he is going to love adding these to his collection. This is a toy that he plays with every single day. He loves his Cars Cars. So I know that these are going to be a hit. And he also has recently got into the new Incredibles movie. And we don't have any little figures that are the Incredibles. And I really don't want to pay the price that they are right now in the store because they're so popular. But I found this one on a closeout deal. I want to say it was like three bucks at Kroger. And it is Jack Jack and um, the dad, Mr. Incredible. And he calls my husband Mr. Incredible and I'm Elastigirl and his little brother is Jack Jack and he's the Flash and our Dash, that's his name. And Violet, we don't have a girl so Violet gets left out. But he thinks that we are the Incredibles so he will like having these little figures to play with. And we also got him this floor puzzle. He's kind of getting into puzzles a little bit and he's getting tired of like we have like the chunky puzzles that have you know just the big picture and you just put the little chunky uh, piece in there. He's getting tired of those so we figured that we would try him on this big floor puzzle and see how he likes it. And it is a three feet floor puzzle so it's going to take up a lot of room but it's going to be really fun for us to build this as a family and help him uh, develop his puzzle building skills. Okay, so this next thing is actually um, going with a gift that a family member got him. He is getting one of those three-wheeled scooters for his uh, Christmas present from them. And so I wanted him to be safe on it. So I got him a Lightning McQueen helmet. And I also got him this pack of a knee, elbow, and um, wrist pads or hand pads to help protect him because when he falls down and scrapes his knee it's the end of the world and we have a big meltdown so I figured if we could uh, avoid those meltdowns by protecting him a little bit that would work. I'm hoping that these fit him because he's a little guy and these were the smallest ones I could find so hopefully they work. Okay so the next thing we got him was this Monster Jam shirt. He absolutely loves monster trucks. This was his first love in life was monster trucks. 
and he has a ton of these and we are actually going to let him open this and I think I'm going to get a monster truck that he doesn't currently have already just a small one to put with it and then let him know that in February when the monster jam comes back to our area that we are going and that he gets to go and see his favorite grave digger in Max D. Max D is not on the shirt. I looked and looked for one that included him and just couldn't find it. So hopefully he still likes this shirt and I know he'll like it because it has grave digger on it but I think that will be a really exciting gift and we wanted to get him an experience gift as well instead of just toys so he's going to really enjoy going to Monster Jam and we have gone to every Monster Jam since he was born except for one so he is going to be very excited that we're going again so like I said before he loves the Hulk and he only has like a little bitty figure of the Hulk and he's like riding a motorcycle or something like that and it was like a five dollar gift that we got from um, Dollar General so we figured it was time to get him a big action figure of the Hulk and I don't know why he has fallen in love with this superhero out of all of them but he loves the Hulk so we got him a big action figure and then we got him a Hulk coloring book He's not too into coloring, but we were hoping that since this has the Hulk in it, that he would uh, enjoy coloring this one. And then Daddy bought him this book, and it is Nine Marvel Superhero Tales, and this is by uh, the Little Golden Book Collection, and he has a ton of the books for this collection. So... Uh, we were really surprised that they had superhero ones, and he actually already has Thor and Hulk, so hopefully um, he doesn't mind that they repeat in this book, but he's going to love reading this during his nightly reading time with Daddy, because it has all the superheroes in it, and of course it has Hulk. And then this was on a Black Friday special for only five bucks uh, from Walmart. And this is five minute Marvel stories. I'm hoping it's not the exact same ones that are in that one, but it just has different superhero movies, or not movies, stories as well. So we will add this to his book collection. And then I also got this one that was $5 special, and it is 5-Minute Bible Stories. Because he is learning um, more and more at his uh, Mother's Day Out program that is at a church about uh, God and Jesus and everything. So I figured that I uh, should start reading him. Oh, is it upside down? Um, they put the cover on upside down. I didn't notice that. But yeah, the entire book is upside down from the cover. Anyways, so I'm going to enjoy starting to read him these stories from the Bible and get him um, a little bit more knowledge on all of those stories. I really wish I would have looked on the inside and realized that it was turned the wrong way. But oh well, it's still readable. It'll be fine. And then I also got him this one that was on a $5 special. Let's check it and see if it's turning the right way. It is. It's fine. And this is 5 Minute Snuggle Stories from Disney. So it just has a lot of different Disney stories in it. And a lot of his favorites are in there. So I figured that this would be a good book to add to the collection as well. So he's got a good amount of books to add to all of his collection because he's getting kind of tired of the books we have now so hopefully these will spike his interest and he will like reading those with daddy okay so this right here is going to be the main gift that he falls in love with and just 
I think he's just going to go ape crazy for this gift. It is a Hulk, um, a Hulk control, what are you called? Hulk control Hulk smasher. And it is so cool. Let me see if I can get it to turn on. So, so this right here, it, you drive it with the remote that's up here. And then as he's driving, his fists spin around and smash stuff. So you could like set up cars for him to drive through and he could smash the cars. And it is just going to be so cool. I mean, anything that is destructive voice love and it being Hulk just makes it that much more cool. So he is going to just love this. I think once he opens this, he's not going to want to open anything else. So I'm going to make him open this last, I think, because he's, oh, he's going to flip out. I'm so excited to give him this one. So going with the same Hulk theme, um, we are getting him some Hulk PJs. He only has one pair of PJs that have superheroes on them, and it has Hulk, Captain America, and I want to say Iron Man on there. And he likes them okay, but he wanted Hulk PJs. And he asked to wear those same PJs like every single night, so he needed another pair. So this just has just the Hulk on them, really big on the front. So I know he's going to love these PJs. So this next gift I got on Black Friday special as well. I think it was like 10 bucks or something like that from Walmart. And I actually got my nephew that's the same age as my son the same gift. Um, because they're, you know, learning their letters and everything. And you can put, uh, it has different cards in there. And then you put the letters of whatever the picture is. And it has 69 different pieces. And 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. 14 different um, pictures to match the words up to. And the longest word on here is only four letters. So I figured that this would be a really good one to start with. I mean, they're not learning to read yet, but they can use this to recognize their letters. And then, you know, a little bit down the road, they can start to put together some letters and two words. But this was a good little learning toy that they'll still have fun with. And it's a puzzle, so I just thought that that was a good little gift to get those two boys. Okay, we are almost to the end. Oh, okay. So this next one we got is from Kid Connections. This is the, uh, uh, the Walmart brand of toys. And we've only gotten one other toy that is this brand. And it was a big, um, like, monster truck, truck loader thing. And it's huge. And I only paid 20 bucks for that huge truck and, like, five monster trucks to go with it. And this one, I want to say, was only 20 bucks as well. And it is a dinosaur. And he roars. And there might be a few pieces in this that I take out, like the small dinosaurs that you can put into the egg. I might take that away from him, just where it doesn't end up in his little brother's mouth or something. But I think he's really going to enjoy this. He loves dinosaurs. And he doesn't have a ton that are really big like this one. So I think he's really going to enjoy playing with this one. And it makes noises. So that's just an added bonus. And it has a helicopter and a truck. And just all kinds of fun things for him for only 20 bucks. So I thought that was a really good find too. And this was one of the first things I bought. If I would have gotten you know, all this other stuff first, he probably wouldn't have gotten this. But he'll still enjoy playing with that. The very last thing we got him was this, and it is the Stanley Jr. Uh, tool bench and tool set. Let me turn it this way. So, um, this is going to be his Santa gift, and Daddy is going to build this the night before and have it all setting out for him, unwrap, 
trapped by the tree where you can see this first thing in the morning and this one was 50 bucks as well so the little car we got for our baby was 50 and then this was 50 so we figured that that was a good gift to uh, put out for their Santa gifts so he is absolutely going to love having his own tool bench just like daddy because daddy does a lot of woodworking and stuff like that and he likes to watch him out there in the garage so he's going to love having his very own tool bench where he can act like daddy and i think that this is just going to be one of his favorite things at least i'm hoping and i think he's really going to enjoy it and it has like different sound effects i don't know what makes sound effects oh the saw makes a whirling noise so I think he's going to just really, really like this. And hopefully this is something that lasts a while and he can play with for a long time. So that is all the stuff that we got for our two little boys for Christmas this year. I think that they're going to have an absolutely wonderful Christmas opening up all the stuff. I can't wait to see their faces. I think it's going to be a great Christmas morning. And hopefully I gave you some inspiration for those toddlers in your life as well. And get out there and spread some holiday cheer all around. And thank you for watching this video. Bye guys.